Hello friends and welcome to study tonight. In this video we'll learn what SAS is. If we have to describe SAS in one line, then I would say SAS makes CSS programmable. But wait, isn't CSS used to style HTML web pages and that too using simple styling properties? So why do we want to make CSS programmable? Let's take an example to understand this. In the study tonight's website, our primary color scheme or color palette for our website and mobile application consists of purple color, orange color, and pink color. In our CSS code, we use these colors for buttons, for text highlighting, for different backgrounds, or anywhere we need to highlight anything, we use these colors. So a lot of places in our CSS code, we have used hexa code for these three colors. A CSS file is about thousand lines of code. Now, if in the future we plan on changing the shades of these colors a bit, or remove a color completely from our color palette to add a new shade of color, we'll have to update the CSS code and it will be a huge update for us. But if we use SAS, we can define variables and assign the hexa code values to those variables and then use them in the CSS code. And when we have to change anything, we just have to change the variable value and nothing else. Now, this is just one example. SAS comes with a lot of inbuilt features like operators to perform calculations, interpolation, which means you can dynamically insert variable values in the CSS styling code. There are a lot of at the rate rules available to make it even easier to write scalable CSS code. You can write functions that can be used in the CSS code. These functions can take parameters too. You can use if else conditions, loops, write debug statements, etc., and whatnot. Now this video is not about learning SAS, but just to give you an understanding of what SAS can do and why it is used. So using all this, you can create a logical styling document where you have variables, functions, use operators, and use the inbuilt modules like color, math, etc., which are available in SAS. And when you are done, you can compile your SAS code and convert it into CSS. Yes, because browsers only understand CSS. So SAS is just for development's sake, to help front-end developers write scalable styling code, which is then converted into CSS. If you have also heard of SCSS, then don't worry. SAS and SCSS are two sides of the same coin with some minor differences in their syntax like SCSS using the semicolons and SAS using indentation. It's your choice what you want. Whatever you choose, you can always convert one style into another style. So that's SAS for you. If you want to learn SAS, follow the link given in the description to access an amazing tutorial available for free on studytonight.com. You can also learn CSS using our free interactive course. Thank you. Don't forget to like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and feel free to share it with your friends. Thank you.